Friends can certainly make you feel pretty lonely, and finding new love can become a struggle. That is leaving room for scammers to strike. Experts say catfishing is on the rise during this pandemic. News 4's Lauren Traeger heard from a local Marine who says he's had his identity stolen hundreds of times, and he doesn't want you to become the next victim. From goofing around to intense workouts, Marine Corps Staff Sergeant David Bigel has a big following on social media. Let's go! I started, started an Instagram and people like pull-up videos. So that's basically where I'm at. <laughs> and now the Farmington, Missouri native has made it part of his job as a recruiter. Most of the stuff that I post on Instagram has to do with the Marine Corps, just because uh, the Marine Corps is the only reason where I'm at today. <laughs> While social media is often fun and games, he's also inundated with the dark side. At one point I had like 250 DMs that I hadn't opened yet, and I would say over half of them were people who had been scammed. His pictures and videos used to create fake accounts, Insta, Facebook, Twitter, even Tinder and Bumble, not his. 100% happily married. I love my wife. She's amazing. I couldn't have asked for anything better. But criminals looking to take advantage of the vulnerable. My mom's probably sent me 30 different accounts on Facebook that she's reported. Um, and then now my wife gets messages asking, you know, why she's married to this other person's husband. And it's just like a crazy mess. I talked to him a few times. I mean, we messaged every day. News 4 Investigates has told you before about romance scams, often women, but men too, who think they're talking to a new love interest, but it's a scammer instead, sometimes sending their life savings hanging onto hope. Disgusted and hurt. And if you think it couldn't happen to you, David says he gets contacted nearly every single day from people blaming him. You have no idea. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Jealous or confused messages. I shouldn't message you, but I want to see how you are. I'm sorry everything went wrong. I'm not putting blame on you. From victims who haven't even figured it out. So there was actually one lady that I, I felt so bad for. I read her, I read her DM last week and she was out looking at wedding dresses because she believed that whenever I got back from this deployment that I was on, that she was going to get married to me. They're trolls. But Assistant U.S. Attorney Tracy Berry says prosecuting these crimes can be tricky. The suspect that we may have may actually have 50 victims, but there may also be three other individuals who are using that same identity. Prosecutors just put away one local man back in October for five years in prison but another one just pops up in their place. We'd like to make sure that every single suspect faces the full wrath of the, of the law. And we're not able, always able to do that. If there's like 15 photos uploaded on the same date, then generally speaking, that's probably gonna be a scammer. David says there's often clear warning signs, but worried just how often it's happening. After a certain point, I just have to shut it off. He says it's heartbreaking. I'd get very, very frustrated sometimes. David says he will often call the victims and try to explain to them that he is not the one scamming them, and he's reported the fake accounts dozens of times. One of the best things you can do if you meet someone online is talk to them over video, not the phone. With Zoom and FaceTime, there's really no excuse not to see someone's face. For News 4 Investigates, I'm Lauren Traeger.